Here's one more new trick. It's called destructuring assignment. This is another new thing that was new in ES6. Destructuring assignment. It's a way to extract variables out of objects. So if we have an object called uh, I don't know, whatever. Good old meals. What'd you have for breakfast today? Uh, um, somebody who ate breakfast? Who ate breakfast today? I'm disappointed, folks. Yeah, what'd you have? Just a sandwich. Just sandwiches. Thank you, Andrew. All right. Oops, I'm not done yet. Come on, sorry. Uh, what's for lunch? What's for lunch? Who's having lunch? <laughs> Don't, not sure that counts, but okay. What's cooking tonight? No. St. Elmo's? Uh-huh, I bet. All right. Whoops. Gosh, cousin, dang it. There you go. All right. Now I got an object. So I can extract some variables out of there. I could say things like breakfast equals meals dot breakfast, but who wants to type all that? I just had to type breakfast twice. I shouldn't have to type it twice. So what I can do is something like this. Let curly braces breakfast equal meals. And now I've got a variable called breakfast that is indeed set to 20 inches. So it's just a little trick for assigning variables out of properties of an object. So if you have an object with a key of breakfast and you want to extract that into a separate variable, just put braces around your variable name when you assign it. And the cool thing is you can do this with multiple things at once. So I could totally say, let breakfast comma dinner equal meals or lunch and dinner. We already did breakfast. And sure enough, I've got local variables now with those. So just a little syntactical trick, but it's nice to use it since we're going to be we're going to be doing things like that with our props. We're going to often create a little local variable out of any given prop because uh, sometimes writing props or this dot props over and over and over inside our JSX just gets too darn messy and unreadable. So oftentimes we'll want to extract variables out of it, and we can use this trick when doing it. So we may as well know how to do it. New trick in ES6, which is now three years old anyway. So. But even cooler, we can use this trick inside argument lists. So what I could do here, uh, the only prop we have here is user, right? So I could do this. Instead of putting props here, I could just put user inside curly braces. And it'll break apart the object that gets passed in as an argument and extract the user variable out of it. James, would you mind shutting the door back there? Thanks. I have a feeling it's not going to get much better. So then instead of props.user here, I can just say user. Another nice effect of this, it kind of documents which props we're expecting. So just put those in the argument list. 
inside curly braces. And we're only being passed one argument. It's an object that contains all our props. But we can just list the props that we actually need out of there. And then save ourselves a prop, props dot down here. Which once you know how to do it, you're going to do it all the time. So let's just quickly do that here and in user info. And then we'll just start doing it from now on. So there's avatar, there's user info. So I'm saying props, which props do we actually have? We really only have user here too. So I'll just put curly brace user. I'll change props.user to just user. Make sure I don't get any errors. Good. We didn't ruin that. So again, that's destructuring assignment. And we're using it on props, which is a pretty common trick. Destructure props in avatar and user info. Questions about that? It's one of those things you'll just get in the habit of doing it. Then it'll become second nature. But it's yet another new little piece of syntax for the moment.